Well, it seems everyone sensed that it's 10 o'clock and time to start because you got it quiet on your own, but we're very glad that you're here this morning. Uh, good morning and welcome to Lubbock Christian University. Uh, we are uh, very excited about today because it's a very special day for us, so thanks for being here to share that with us. Uh, here to start the program this morning is our Executive Vice President, Dr. Brian Starr. He'll, he'll uh, give you lots of facts and figures. Come on up, Brian. He's one of the uh, sharpest individual th with regard to facts and figures, and so uh, he'll tell you all kinds of things about sustainability. Dr. Brian Starr. I will not bore you with too many facts and figures because I realize that not everyone resonates with this. Uh, we are here today, though, to celebrate the designation of this build building, the Cardwell Welcome Center, as a LEED Platinum Certified Building. Now, this is a fairly rare distinction. We understand that there are only 11 such buildings here in the state of Texas. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. And energy efficiency and environmental friendliness are two concepts that we take seriously here at Lubbock Christian University, and we have for several years. And, and you can see evidence of that around the campus. And there are other things around the campus that you might not see that still feed into this concept of environmental friendliness. On the, exact opposite side of the, con uh, the campus is a new maintenance building that we've erected that was built largely out of sea crates. If you asked me 10 years ago, will you ever build anything out of a sea crate, I would have laughed, but we've actually built some things out of sea crates that have uh, basically made recycled materials, function very nicely for us as a maintenance building. We've gone through our older structures on campus and converted them to the cutting edge heating and cooling technologies that allow us to save substantially on our heating and cooling cost and all about campus you can see recycling so that our students can join us in this initiative. This in initiative of uh, environmental friendliness is actually a very biblical concept even from the opening chapter of Genesis 1. We talk about man being given by God dominion or rulership over the earth but sometimes we forget that all of that is, is prefaced by this one single verse that says, God created man in his image. And so this stewardship we're had up to have over the earth really should, should be one that reflects the character of God. So we've tried to be good stewards of what God has entrusted with us. And certainly the energy efficiency is important to us. Our job is to provide good Christian education and affordable cost. And the more efficient we are in our energy, the lower the cost is that we have to pass on to our students. But this building really stands as the pinnacle of all of those efforts, being this LEED Platinum certified building. Again, there are evidences that you can see all around you uh, about uh, things that led us to this distinction. There are other things that you might not be able to see. One of the things that you can't see is the way that we heat and cool this building. It, we heat and cool it through ground source heat exchange. If you're, if you're a non-technical person like me, you've probably called it geothermal. And I understand there is a technical distinction. But the idea is that instead of using the ambient air outside as, as your heat source or your heat sink, you actually use the ground, which maintains a more constant temperature throughout the year. And we use our well water that we pump through that system to heat and cool this building. And not only do we do that, but we use that water that we have captured through the well and has heated or cooled our building. And then we're able to irrigate our lawn around with it. So we get a double use out of that water. You will also note uh, things that you can see, like the, the lighting in this building. We make full use of the sunlight to the extent possible, and over 90% of the occupied space in this building is lit during the day by sunlight, and that minimizes the, the amount of artificial light that we have to power in this building. Now, as Kermit the Frog would say, it's not always easy being green, so if you go into our bathroom to wash your hands, you will note that it might take you a little bit longer to wash your hands because uh, it's a very small stream that's coming through, but because of things like that, we use 40% less water than a typical footprint of a building uh, like this would have. And because of the energy efficiency of the building, we only use in this building 35% of the energy that a building with this footprint would typically use. Lower energy costs means lower costs that our students have to pay in tuition and allows us to better execute the mission of changing lives. Thank you for being here at Lubbock Christian University for our designation of this building today as a LEED Platinum Certified Building.
We have several guests with us today, but some of those are represented by the Alliance for Sustainable Lubbock. And that's an informal network of ordinary people from different sectors of the community working together to improve our way of life here in Lubbock and the High South Plains. The group is concerned about personal well-being and enrichment of community life, as well as water conservation, energy efficiency, and the elimination of waste. The Alliance promotes constructive change by sponsoring networking events and celebrating local achievements. We're pleased to have Larry Sullivan, who serves as the Director of Events and Networking Operations for the Alliance with us today, along with longtime friend of the university, Alex Scarborough, who's a member of the Alliance. Please help me welcome Alex Scarborough. Thank you, Warren. And uh, on behalf of the Alliance, it is uh, a real honor for us to be with y'all today and celebrate this achievement. This is uh, quite an achievement. About 50 years ago, JFK said, we choose to go to the moon this decade, not, and, and the other things. He said, we choose to go to the moon and the other things, not because it's easy, but because it's hard. That inspirational um, thought spun into something that uh, me as a child uh, remembered the man stepping onto the moon, uh, Armstrong, and saying, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm impressed with what Kennedy said that day, though, for a couple of things. The inspiration uh, that led to us getting a color TV in our house so we could see that moon landing in black and white. <laughs> and also that he said, and the other things. He said, we choose to do this not because it's easy, but because it's hard, and the other things. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. The mission of America isn't changing. We're still going to do what we do, but we're going to do this other thing. This building uh, for this university is that. Uh, the mission has been continued. But, and, and the other things, the other good things that happen here. But in addition to that, this university decided that we were going to lead in our community and demonstrate uh, something that a lot of this community didn't know. And when they set their goal, and I remember, I talked to some who said, we're going to go for a platinum. And I said, because I kind of knew. I said, do you know what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, we know what we're saying. I thought, they don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I said, if you get, see, because there's different levels. To get certified, LEED, that's, that's something. Not very many buildings are certified, LEED. But if you get a little better, they give you a silver. And, and that's good. And that's really good. And most of the things I've seen around here are silvers. That's the best I've ever seen. And then you get a little better, and that's gold. But platinum, that's extraordinary. Um, every great organization who achieves, achieves this because of a great team. And this team uh, is no different. Besides uh, deciding to do this, this was accomplished largely in-house, okay, in the family, uh, with people that serve this university every day in other ways. And so the expertise that had to be achieved, uh, the exceptional uh, documentation the, the adaption of construction techniques and materials, all of those things were achieved and achieved uh, largely in-house with expertise that's in the Lubbock Christian University family. So that's, that's extraordinary in my opinion. And so we're really happy today to be here. And because of that, I want to recognize some of the members of this team. And so the first is Mike Selleck. Mike, will you stand up? Now, Mike is uh, director of the 
of facilities here at LCU. And, uh, but besides that, he served as, as the general contractor, head Hanyak of this project, day-to-day -day overseeing uh, its construction. And uh, Mike, you built a beautiful building. And it's really something to be proud of. Uh, on behalf of the Alliance and uh, LEAD and uh, the Green Building Council, uh, we want to present you this award uh, today in recognition of your achievement. Now the next part, next person we're going to recognize in this team is Dr. Art Succi. The paperwork, the documentation required to achieve this, to say it's extraordinary, is an understatement. It's a bureaucracy like you've probably never seen before in your lives. And thank goodness, okay. But this team had a person who could deal with that. And, uh, and take his uh, expertise, his experience, and just his tenacity to see it through. I, uh, this is, it's an extraordinarily super feat what you did, Dr. Suchi. Would you stand please and let us recognize you? Uh, Dr. Suchi is the LCU compliance officer and the LEADS liaison, so he speaks LEADS fluently. <laughs> Probably the only one in here who can speak LEADS fluently. Uh, but on behalf of the Alliance and uh, in recognition for your great work, we present you this award today, Dr. Suchi. The next part of this team is Stephen Falk. Uh, Stephen's an architect here in Lubbock with MWM and somebody I've gotten to work with on a lot of projects here. Is, uh, MWM's an extraordinary architecture firm and Stephen is an uh, extraordinary architect and uh, this was a challenge for everybody involved. But Stephen, you did good and I love what this building does to the front of the campus and what it means to this school and for uh, the things that you have, uh, the way you shared your gifts here. And so on behalf of the Alliance, we present you this award for your work uh, on this building. <laughs> Stephen Falk. I think a, a round of applause is in, uh, appropriate for this group. One more time, let's just, for this team. We... <laughs> so every great team has a great leader. And uh, Dr. Jones, uh, your leadership in this, we appreciate and we uh, thank you. Well, why don't you come up on stage with some people? I'm not going to hand you this award because I'm afraid I would drop it and that would be uh, something that you'd have to build a whole new building to get another one. <laughs> but we are, uh, uh, on behalf of the Alliance again, we're grateful for your leadership and that of LCU in showing uh, our community what a lead building is and what it can mean to them. So we thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, I think uh, Alex has us figured out. How did you put that? We often don't know what we're doing. Is that what you said? I think it's kind of uh, got us figured out. We're really glad to have uh, all of you here with us uh, this morning. It's, it's really a special day in many ways. And I'm grateful for Tom Martin, our mayor, being here. Tom's right over here. And, and Tom has been a, a special, special friend to me and to Lubbock Christian University, and I won't take you through a lot of the details as to, uh, I did put mine on silence, by the way, but uh, I, I won't tell you, take you through the details as to how Tom has been a, a good friend to me, but I, I, want to, I want to assure you that he has been a good friend to Lubbock Christian. Tom, I'm, I'm grateful. Paul Bean is here from the City Council. We're glad to have him. I think Bryce Foster, Foster and Vicki Hicks are here from Congressman Nagelbauer's office right back over here. Glad to have you. We're really pleased with this, uh, this building. Uh, we, we needed a new front to the campus of, of Lubbock Christian University. We really need a new front. I, I don't know how many people have told me that I, I drive down 19th now and I realize there's a university sitting back in there. I used to not know that. And uh, so we really need a new front. And, and we spent a long time looking at what, what ought to be sitting out here. And, Jeff Whitaker, a good friend from MWM Architect, uh, I don't know how many renderings he gave to us about what ought to be sitting here, and, and finally we came up with this. And It's not all that large of a building, but it's a very, very special building for us. I had the privilege a few weeks ago of taking Jack Cardwell through the, the building, just the two of us walked through every corner of this building, and the Cardwell family made the gift that made this building possible. And uh, we walked through the, the different corridors, and I told him what was housed in each part of it, and I, I talked about how that everything's on a different angle. Mike really appreciated that, I think, when he was building it. But everything's on a different angle, and, and the rotunda has been used already for so many things, so many receptions, and things like this right here. And it's, it's just been a beautiful, beautiful front to Lubbock Christian University. And so we're, we're thankful. He was thrilled when he got to see the building, and we're so thankful for it. It, it means so much to us and is used in such effective ways. We had, we had a, a SHAP day here yesterday, and that means we brought students in from, from many, many different places trying to recruit them to come to Lubbock Christian University. They got to come in here and start in this rotunda and, and go through admissions and go through some spots over here and then go into other parts of our campus. It's just a wonderful, wonderful building. And I'm, I'm grateful that Alex represented people that were represented today and, and talked about them. Uh, I've often said that the secret to, to love a Christian university is being blessed. It's just being blessed. Uh, sometimes I can't explain it. I can't explain how it happens. We're just blessed. And I've often also said one of the ways in which we have been blessed is by our people. I, I could keep you here all morning. I literally could keep you here all morning talking about our people that sometimes appear out of nowhere. And, and that's kind of like Mike Selleck. M Mike Selleck is, uh, he, he was a professor at the University of New Mexico in construction management. And somehow he gets acquainted with our campground we own over in New Mexico called Pine Springs Camp. And, and somehow he brings him over to Lubbock and he wants to kind of semi-retire semi here, but it's far from semi-retired. And and where in the world would we have found someone like Mike Selleck to, to walk into this building? Because when I got to looking at the bids on this building and, and the cost of this building, if we we're going to contract it out completely, I said, I can't do that. I've got to figure something else out differently from what we've always done on this campus. And, and, and Mike appears. And Mike said, I can build the building. I said, really? He said, I can build the building, I promise. And, and Mike did it uh, without flaw. And with the help of MWM Architecture, he was there, and, and just everything worked so very, very well. Then Dr. Sushi, he's, he's, he's a, a Ph.D. chemist and had his, has had a long, distinguished career. And I think he moves to Lubbock because his son is the federal prosecuting attorney, which I'm always very respectful of him, by the way. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and all of a sudden he appears, and he knows how to take care of all these details, such as Alex has mentioned. And, and, of course, the MWM been mentioned, and we've had a, a long, long relationship with them here on this campus. They've done such a wonderful job. And I can just keep going with people like that. But we've been blessed with such wonderful people to make this happen. Lubbock Christian University does believe in sustainability. Uh, years ago, we began to use the geothermal water source heat pumps. We did bore fills, vertical bore fills, 
uh, for Johnson Hall and for our education building and, and for the music part of the McDonald Moody Auditorium. And then we started doing uh, open uh, flow water source heat pumps to heat and cool buildings, thinking we saved, according to what we've been able to determine, Mayor, about 43% uh, of our electric usage in all those buildings we're talking about. Our dream is to have this entire campus uh, heated and cooled with uh, water source heat pumps. That means in one season we give the energy back to the ground and one season we take it away type deal. So it's, uh, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing for us. This particular building, I mean the angles, the glass, Dr. Starr has already mentioned that better than I can, can possibly do it, but it's it just been built in a way that uh, saves us a lot, means a lot to us. This will be displayed in a very special place and we'll be able to say that we're one of, uh, if you say 11, in Texas. We think we're the best of the 11, by the way, uh, that, that has this uh, platinum certification for Leeds Building. And so we're extremely thankful, and it's just a wonderful honor to be uh, included in that list. And I'm going to tell you, it's a wonderful honor to be a part of Lovell Christian University. It's a wonderful honor to have, uh, have people around you like we have here and to be blessed over and over again. I can't, I can't think about what my life would have been without it. I really can't think that. Mayor, I want to thank you. You've just, I mean, he's just been by my side through some hard times and nice times, and he's called me on the road to here and there and said, hey, I got this deal for you, and hey, I got this thing you shouldn't do, and <laughs> he's just done a lot of things. So thank all of you for being here. Uh, it's with great honor and, and with great pleasure and with personal excitement that I accept this award on behalf of Lubbock Christian University, on behalf of our trustees. And by the way, we have a couple of trustees here. J.W. Hamby is right here from Plainview, and I see Al Smith uh, back over here from Amarillo. They come to be a part of this today, and our trustees have been outstanding leaders also on this campus. God bless all of you. Thank you for being here. We are glad that you're here, and as Dr. Jones mentioned and others have, this was really an internal uh, project in many, many ways. We had some external folks who helped us with expertise, and yet uh, many of the very... I forget a lot of things, and I get carried away, and I forget, but there's, there, there are a group of people back in the back over here and scattered around from our facilities group. And uh, what you just said sparked my memory that it's not just Mike Selleck working here, it's Mike Selleck telling all these guys what to do. I'd like everybody from facilities here at Lubbock Christian University to stand up. Do you know how hard it is to get a perfect circle of steel? And, and I saw these guys hanging off the roof, roof doing that, and I thought, ooh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But it's, it, it, it turned out perfectly, so thank you guys a lot for what you've done for us, too. Sorry, Warren. Well, feel free to, uh, after we conclude here in just a moment, to uh, tour it, all the wings of the building and to take a look at uh, what's been done. And uh, we do have uh, craftsmen as a part of our facilities crew and, and folks that are very, very dedicated. So we're, we're, we have a great crew. So uh, I, too, thank our facilities folks. I'm grateful that uh, they, they serve the university in such a capable way. We're glad that you're here. Those of you with media, all the folks in the program will be available for interviews after we're finished. Uh, there are refreshments over there, so you all help yourself to that. And be, uh, stick around and tour uh, this building. It's, it's an open concept building, uh, and you'll notice that the ceiling uh, has lots of insulation, and, and uh, there's, uh, it wasn't mentioned, but the floor has circulating heat and cool in it as well. And so it's all kinds of fabulous ways that this building is sustainable. And so we're proud of it. Glad you're here to take a look at it with us. Y'all have a good day.